Kia ora, my name is Amanaki, I'm 27 and I'm Whakaliti and welcome to my amazing, fabulous world. Too much? Tame it down. <laughs>well, I came for at Nationals for dancing. Best performance at the Fringe Arts Festival. I'm a pageant winner. Best newcomer. I've won Talent Quest every year. Award winning writer. Did I mention I get called Beyonce? <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned the word uh, whakaleti. Um, for those that won't understand what the term means, can you please explain it? Whakaleti means in the manner of a woman. So it's um, someone born physically male, but spiritually inside feeling female. In Samoa, it's third gender, so they're considered a third gender. So it's not just female, male is female, male, and then fa fa figure. What to do, what to do, who you do, go have it do. I'm very fun, I'm very cool, I'm really easy to get along with, but I'm really shy. Um, I hate crowded places. So, in your career, you are currently a actress. <laughs> What's going on here? A dancer. A writer. Uh, what else have I missed out? A uh, creative director. <laughs> Keep going. Um, I judge. Uh, sorry, judge for nationals. New Zealand Hip Hop Champs. I'm a makeup artist. Eyes. There's a smoky eye, then there's the black eye. I'm the help at home. I cook and clean to do the washing, cook their dinner. Oh, auntie. Growing up, surely there were some hard times. Yeah, definitely. Um, my dad being a pastor, it wasn't easy for him. It wasn't e easy for my brothers um, or my sisters. I wouldn't kind of call it a life lived, my past life. Kind of sad and kind of depressing and hidden. So um, I'm here today though, and I'm beautiful and stunning. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> I think the hardest thing about transitioning is that you go through your life with your friends and family as this boy and then it's having to convince them to kind of change their mindset and at the same time losing, I lost a heaps of church friends. But how did you get over that? Um, I went through a phase, a really dark phase of um, dealing with um, substance, drugs and alcohol. Um, you have those friends who kind of smack you back into line and then I was really fortunate to have um, someone like uh, Mario who was um, studying at BIPA and doing things I love to do and he was just like oh I studied at a performing arts school you should come and trial it out. So I went and trialed and then I found a way of expressing and letting out all my anger and frustration through writing, dance and choreography and acting, just a, let, a, a way of letting out all the ugliness. Everyone asks us, like, what is it? There's this fire that we have when we do um, crump and do all these aggressive dance. And I always tell them it's the, um, that mana we have, the same mana we take into our haka and into like all our traditional dance, there's that connection to our movement. And I feel like the dancers here in New Zealand have that connection easily. And it's because we've been taught that culture. I find a lot of artists go study uh, performing arts and then after that would leave because it's just really cutthroat. Especially in our industry, you've got to look a certain way, you've got to act a certain way, be a certain colour, have a certain hair type. Um, and it's really, for me, it's like almost who you know and not what you know. I, because I wasn't getting a lot of roles being trans, um, you've got to create your own, I guess. Like, if, you can't constantly wait for someone to give you it on a platter. Do you know what I mean? So create your own show, make your own show. Do it in the garage, invite your church friends first if you need to. Your neighbours, it's a chair, need all right. <laughs> Tip number one, it's important to never be lazy. <laughs> Tip number two, stay true to who you are, because that's what makes you unique and tells your story in a different kind of way. <laughs> Tip number three, build a thick skin. <laughs> Girl, I know. <laughs> Tip number four, is to do everything with a giving and loving heart. That way you enjoy your job more better. Tip number five, pray, believe, and trust. Because it all happens. Just follow my tips, don't be lazy. Thick skin, follow them. You'll get there. Now get out of my house, bye. Toodaloo, get, I'm hungry.
Thank you very much for watching another Omfa video. Now for more videos, click here. And to check out some cool stuff on our Facebook page, click here.